how SAP screen looks. So we will go through the SAP screen. Okay, so right now I am in SCM system. So here you will get the details of your system in which system you are logged in. Okay, here we are in SCM system. This is the client and it, uh, the user which logged in. So you are logged into ECC or um, uh, sorry, I lost SCM. you actually. SCM. Uh, APM, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you click on this one, this is SCM. This is ECC. Okay. Correct. It will show you show the name here as well as here also. Okay. Now the username. Uh, if you are the user, your name will appear. Okay. So we have this user user one. So the username you will get there. Program along with transaction. Transaction. It means here you will enter your transaction. Okay. We call it T codes. Transaction codes. So all these uh, to execute uh, these business processes. I mean, let's say if you want to check location, if you want to check product, if you want to check location. So for all those um, objects, okay, we have a separate T codes. So once you enter, you will go inside that uh, that transaction. So we call it T code, okay, and we enter it here. So if I go here, you can see. When I go to LOC3, the transaction will appear here also. Okay, so it will show you in which transaction you are. That's it. Okay. Now, so what I included it here. Buttons, T codes. Ah, okay, let's see the buttons quickly. Okay, going so the important one. See, once you go inside. How to go inside? You have to enter your T code here. Then you have to click enter. Okay. Then it will take you to this this uh, transaction. <coughs> Let's say we open this L location. Okay. So it will take you to location. Similarly, if you want to check any product, this is the T code for product. Okay. Once you have to enter it, and then you you can uh, once you have to give your T code details here, and then you can click enter or you can click on this button. Okay, to go back, this is the back option. This is also back option, but it will. I mean, if you let's say here in Mat One, we are correct. Enter. These two are back options only. There is no difference. Uh, really, wait. So the see this what happened? Uh, OK, this is one thing. What happened? This connection is not working in APO. OK, we get this live cache error. This is not in operational state. So this is something we, uh, you will also encounter in your organization. OK, in that case, what you have to do? You have to ask basis team that see this connection is not working. So what I when did we get this? What are you trying to do? OK, when when I open the product, it throws that error. Now it will not throw the when I enter that product. Now you can see it is uh, I mean uh, we are able to enter this product. We are able to see the details of this product, but previously what happened when I entered it throws an error connection to live cache is broken. Uh -huh. OK, so what I did I went to live cache. So this you don't have to do. This is basis team task. OK, they will go inside it. And they will then. Start the live cache. OK, this is a connection between your ECC and APO. So what is T codes? Actually, I didn't understand what is T codes. Transaction codes. OK, to perform to perform uh, multiple activities in SAP. I mean, in SAP we can in SAP we have multiple things, correct? So. Mm -hmm. To perform 
those multiple things one by one we have we have uh, separate t codes unique t codes for each processes okay so if you want to let's say if you want oh, for to, each processes what do what do you mean by processes so uh, by processes okay so for forecasting is one of our processes correct uh -huh. so for forecasting we have this t code okay mc 96b they where we maintain all our forecast models once you maintain our forecast model then in planning book we will execute those models so one question i have if you really look web applica web application you know, like amazon.com you and or any other web application mm -hmm. where you enter screen some information screen you click on the next no it is not like that here no it is not like but if you want to correlate then see if you go to amazon screen you will find filter option correct uh -huh. so what is that filter option that is also one of the one of your process right if you want you you will you will filter you will segregate all your uh, products based on that filter correct right. so what you call what you call that filter option it is object right it is it is i mean you want to perform that task where you will uh -huh. see where you will see limited number of uh, pro products uh -huh. correct so similarly in in this sap system we have multiple multiple objects not mm -hmm. all objects are related to to i mean to our task like see let's say if you are demand planner if you are demand planner then you, there is no need there is no i mean you will uh, there is no uh, like why you will open then supply network planning related transactions you will look after only your transactions correct mm -hmm. similarly in apo we have multiple transaction we have uh, multiple transaction for demand planning for snp for for uh, ppds for gatp okay to perform our task mm -hmm. similarly for mm team sd team they have multiple task uh, multiple uh, i mean they also have multiple task so perform to perform each task <coughs> there is a t code okay if you want to let's say if you want to create uh, if you want to create a manufacturing order so in ecc we have a separate t code for manufacturing order if you want to create a plan order there is a separate t code if you want to create a sales order there is a separate t code okay let me show you quickly Okay, uh, I said sales order. Okay, so for sales order, this is the T code V A zero one. Here, enter this T code and it will take you to this screen where you can create your sales order. Similarly, for manufacturing order, this is the T code C R zero one. No, oh, sorry, this is for work center. Call to C O R one. Okay, so this is the T code for manufacturing order. In pharma, we call it process order. Now for plan order, this is the T code M D eleven, I guess. Yeah, this is for. But do you need to remember all that? Yes, I mean, see, we have multiple T codes, but as I said, if you are demand planner, then you have to remember your T codes. But in web application, we don't need to remember now. Why? Why are we giving a headache to the client? So, no, if you are comparing like we don't have to remember in web application, then why you are using SAP? In right, SAP, right. we have these these things. That's why. For your purpose, okay. for your purpose, whatever T code is relevant, I will uh, note it here. Okay. So yeah. if you are say if you are say demand planner, then you have to remember uh, uh, around twenty twenty five T codes. Okay. Okay. If you are working on supply chain also, then you have to remember 50 T codes. If you are working on PPDs also, 75 T codes. If you are working on GATP also, then uh, then add 15 more T codes. So around 100 T codes. 
but see as i said no one works on all four modules mm -hmm. see, i mean uh, it's like uh, jack of all but master of none okay, this mm -hmm. will happen so uh, i mean focus uh, once you get this training focus on one where you you want to grow focus mm -hmm. on that module okay so whatever uh, t codes are relevant to us uh, i will i will uh, add it here okay I will keep adding adding it here. So let's say the most important T code in demand and supply planning is this one, our planning book. Slash S T E P O slash S T P ninety four. Ha, one more thing I, I have to tell. If you so, if you observe, I every time when I enter in APO, I used to give T codes like this slash n slash CP APO. Okay, so when you work in your SCM APO screen, you have to give this one slash n slash SAP APO slash STP ninety four. But in ECC, you have to give T codes like this. Let's say MM zero three. Okay, then. Uh, as I said, MD 13. You don't have to give like slash SAP slash SAP MM slash SAP ST. APO T codes, ACM T codes are little, uh, you can say, uh, big compared to ECC T codes. But uh, there are some uh, large T codes also. Here also, let's see. I think so. We have some. But this is the general, I mean, uh, see, these are also the T codes in ECC slash AIN slash this. So, see, these also are T code. Okay, in ECC, but uh, I'm not aware because these are not related to us. Okay, so in APO, always remember T code starts with slash N slash SAP APO slash SDP 94 in 90% in cases. Okay. okay. So yeah, this is the T code. This is the way you will enter. And this is our most important T code in demand planning and SNP planning. Okay, our planning book. What is this T code? 94? Planning STP 94. We call we call it as planning book. Whatever you plan, demand planning, supply planning, it will show here. Okay, mm -hmm. this T code I open. Can you tell me? Uh, uh, by the by seeing this key figure, by looking at this key figure, which module of a, 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 APO you uh, you can correlate to? The demand planning, no? Correct. Yes. Okay. Similarly, for SNP, we have uh, here. Uh, if I you have any SNP planning book, I. And open that so, book. what is planning book? You need to tell me that. No, so <laughs> planning book. No, no, no. So, planning book, see, it is basic. I will tell you. Yeah, yeah. So, see, what happened earlier before APO, these planners they used to do planning in Excel sheet. Okay. In Excel sheet, they used to do planning that, okay, this is the product for this month. We need this quantity. For this month, we need this quantity. Okay, so earlier before APO, uh, before this, they used to do all their plannings in Excel Excel uh, sheet. Mm -hmm. So the same thing, what SAP did, they uh, they updated it here. They uh, they they added it this functionality here in APO. Mm -hmm. Okay, to do all your planning related tasks. OK, so is the this is the GUI which will help you to do all your planning related tasks like here. You can see your forecast. You can see your history. Whatever is coming based on this, you can do your planning. Mm -hmm. OK, it will appear your data will appear here. Mm -hmm. uh, let me open any product if I can open.
product is in good condition. Okay, so here you can see which is editable. See, in this screen, I don't think, I mean, uh, right now you are able to observe. See, this, this key figure is editable. This key figure is editable. This is also editable. And this key figure is editable. This one is also. So editable means, see, where, from where our, uh, this uh, his, uh, historical data comes, from BI system, right? So mm -hmm. based on based on that historical data, what we do, we calculate stat forecast, correct? Mm -hmm. So stat forecast is something which we we cannot enter manually. How it mm -hmm. get calculated with the help of formula, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we what we can we we can I mean uh, manually enter this manual correction is mentioned. So this we can enter manually. Here you can see. I mean it depends on you. If you want to if you want to make it editable, you can make it. OK, but so here, what is this product? Your select product. What is this left side product? You need to tell product. me. Yeah, this is the product on which you are doing planning. OK, let me put like this. Yeah, yeah. so you need to tell me the relationship, sir. Uh, otherwise, it is tough for me to understand. On 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 product, we are doing the planning. No, yeah, so Basically, this is the product. Can, this is the location. Yeah, can you open from the beginning? No, I am. I, I lost actually because this is new to me. SAP and the navigation. Okay, so this is our main screen. I mean, this is the most useful T code. Okay. If you are if you are a demand planner, ninety percent of your task you have to do here, eighty okay. to ninety percent. So you now you now you enter enter into the T code. What is the next step? Or this is the this is the T code. Okay, this is the screen. <clears throat> this this we call planning book. Mm -hmm. Okay, all our demand planning related tasks, SNP related tasks, eighty percent, eighty to ninety percent tasks we have to do it here. Okay. Okay. So this is our you can say mm, what you can say this is our uh, like screen we have to worship every day. Okay. This is our main screen. If you are a okay. demand planner, I mean if you are from uh, if you are a business user. Then you have to work on this one only. But mm -hmm. if you are a consultant, then you have to work on other T codes also. Okay, but mm -hmm. as I said, if you are a business user, 80 to 90 percent of your task you have to do here only. Mm -hmm. So first, uh, when you enter that T code, it will take you to this screen. Mm -hmm. You will come here. Mm -hmm. Now here, as I said, you can see this. Here you can see the transaction. Your username will appear here. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, you have to go to selection window. This is selection. No, what Which are type? we doing? What are what are we trying to accomplish? Tell me so, the concept okay. before and try to navigate so, the so screen. When so. I when I when I say when I say this is for demand planning and supply planning. So on what I mean for what we are doing is uh, the, uh, this demand planning and supply planning. Why we are doing? We are doing on products, correct? OK, OK, OK. We are doing on materials. So how we will see materials here? We have to load it because we have we have n number of materials and n number of locations in our SAP. Mm -hmm. So how we will load your your location, your products related to your location? So we are making filter, OK? In basic term, we are making filter. Mm -hmm. So first here, what we have to select, we have to select product. One one more question I have. Sorry to mm. interrupt. Mm. So we are doing demand planning on location product. Uh, can you explain? I know it products. Depends on what the, is location? It depends on you. It depends location. Your plant. Your location. Your plant. Your location. I mean. <laughs> Uh, then I would suggest uh, Praveen, 
have you gone through the previous videos yeah previous gone, gone, gone through the gone through that the mm -hmm. question why i'm asking here is mm -hmm. we are doing demand planning only on the items no products so, so the question I'm product, not... okay so on which product you will do you will do for singapore product or you will do for indian product how you will distinguish the location uh -huh. i mean for which product you are doing i mean we have multiple products right and are you authorized for all locations or you are authorized for one plant that also depends uh -huh. no the question I, I got a doubt here i understand that the we have a lot of warehouses and mm -hmm. we have a lot of distribution centers no and mm -hmm. though i thought for those locations also and uh, be, because they they have uh, products in warehouses and products so in how uh, you will yes yes so how you will distinguish centers, no? how you will distinguish those, those warehouses you you can have multiple warehouses right uh -huh. you can have multiple warehouses so how you will distinguish it address you cannot by address so what is that address here address is location only location your sales organization those are the addresses uh -huh. you let's say right now you are in california uh -huh. and you are you are only authorized to uh, do demand planning on california related products uh -huh. you will you don't have uh, i mean if you are authorized for california related products will you will you access greece product or romania product mm -hmm. So how how you will distinguish it? You have to select your location that OK, I have to select California, then it will show only California related products. So let me put like this. Instead of product, let me show this location. So here you can see these are the locations. OK, Chicago, we have Sao Paulo, we have we have Hamburg. OK, now you are only authorized for this Hamburg. Then you you will not touch these locations, correct? Because there are there, there will be some other uh, demand planner for these locations. Where are the products? You, you don't see products here. Wait, you see you don't. I mean, no need to confuse. Wait, I'm I'm on high. I'm right now. I'm at location level. You asked me that question. That's why I'm at that level. Once you get this detail, see these are your locations. You are making things complex for me. Let it be. I mean, I mean. But I, let it be in a simple way. No need to make any confusion here. Right now, see why we. I mean, in once you open this planning book, what you will do here? We will do planning. We will do our demand planning. We will do our forecasting. We will see the we we see the sales history. If you want, if you make manual correction, so how we will make based on product, right? But Let's say one product is here. Uh, we have a, a product A. And it is in Chicago. Same product is in Hamburg. Same product is in Sao Paulo. OK. You are only authorized for this location. For Hamburg planner is let's say the planner, and for Sao Paulo, let's say this is the planner. Now tell me, will you touch these two locations? Will you touch? No. no, no. Then, so how you will how you will open this product at your location? You have Select. to give. You have to filter it right based on this uh -huh. criteria. Okay. Okay. Correct. So what I am doing here, see, right now. If you see, uh, I just taken this product, but if I remove it here, it means what you understand with uh, with this uh, uh, with these three options. It means Chicago, all Chicago products you can access, correct? Uh -huh. All Hamburg products I can access, and all Sao Paulo, this is Victor can access. So mm -hmm. right now I'm I'm at location level. I'm not I'm not at detail level, like which is product level. Product mm -hmm. is product level is your detail level, right? Mm -hmm. Under that location. We can have 100 products. OK, so. Let me just open Chicago. OK, so I'm at Chicago now. Now let's see in Chicago. Uh, we have only one product. Let me open this one. 
only one oops okay let's I'm just opening a location where we can have multiple products. So, okay, see, okay, here in Los Angeles, I opened this location, Los Angeles. Okay, in Los Angeles, we have one, two, three products. Okay, one, two, three products. So, when I open at location level, you will see that, okay, we have multiple products here, three products. Mm -hmm. We have three products. Okay. Now I just want to open this. Okay. Note it down. I mean, 1100, 1200, and 1257 we have. Now, if I want to open that 1100 only, what I have to do? Then I will go here. Based on product, I will filter. Okay. And then location I will give. What is the location? SL31. SL31. So when I open SL31, see, it shows me these three products. Okay, then I can double click on this product and you can do your, uh, whatever you can do your planning. Okay, then if you, uh, then one, uh, once you, you are complete with your planning for one product, then double click on second product and then do planning on this one. And we are assuming we are doing all these are critical products, no critical finished products in APO. If you we used to see, uh, it depends on your business requirement. If you want to do it on non-critical also, you can integrate to APO and you can do planning on this one. But mostly mm, all but the finished products, mostly will be doing most demand. Finished product, finished product plus critical, uh, critical components. Okay, so. Once you are done, see uh, here also I will enter something. And this. Again, you have to save it. Similarly, open the next product. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing planning on each product. This is the way a business planner they used to do. OK, so here I enter this one on the also something. Now we are done, OK? So here you can see this I entered in this one. Okay, this detail I enter in this one. Similarly, for this one also I did some planning. So this way you have to use your product. This way we are doing demand planning. Any confusion? No, no. Okay, so where we for uh, for which location we uh, we come uh, we did our planning. For this SL31, SL31, yeah, yeah. SL31 is Los Angeles. Yeah, now okay. I got it. So normally, uh, 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 so warehouses will store finished products, no, and distribution centers will store finished products, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to do planning uh, for all the uh, means. Uh, Planning for warehouses, we need to do planning for distribution. We need to do planning okay. for plants. Okay. We need to do or plannings for even stores also. We need to do that's a confusion I have. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we need to do planning for each and every location where the finished product resides or how is so it? What you are doing, I mean, in demand planning, you are taking it to supply chain planning. Okay, leave. So see here, I have to clear this doubt. <laughs> Uh, say we have our sales office, okay, which we call as CPO. <coughs> now let's say here uh, we will call it hub, hub, or let me put it. Yeah, let's put hub. Then we have our warehouse. Then we have our plant. And distribution center oh, also. Sorry, yeah, no, no, I'm making it distribution center. And here in plant itself, we have one warehouse. And we have other warehouses also. Imagine. Uh, you can imagine, yeah. Okay, so this is. And, and, and we, yeah, and we have stores, no? That is also important. Stores. 
actual uh, stores no for example i think you are uh, taking example from walmart no 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 correct I mean, correct, no correct, correct correct no, no. correct see if you if you see, i mean make it little flexible don't think of one example only okay it will it will i mean it will only make confusions then if you mm -hmm. take only one example see this is general scenario mm -hmm. i am taking i am taking example of pfizer okay how mm -hmm. they are doing <laughs> this is let's say uh, one plant ro 07 okay now we have hub ch01 distribution center mm, ch 55 something plant as be B ten okay warehouse. Let me put like warehouse is B ten B ten W one. This is our manufacturing site. Now see so what, what happened. What is the hub? You said hub. What is the hub? Ah uh -huh. yeah. I mean I I'm telling you. Let me explain from start why he jumping here. Okay, so this is CPO. It means I am taking example of Pfizer. Okay, Pfizer or any pharma organization you can take Pfizer, Novartis, uh, Cipla. Okay, so I am taking example of Pfizer. So see, let's say uh, uh, who is customer of Pfizer. Let's say you are one of your one of its customer. Okay. So what you will do? First, you will put an order here at the sales office. Correct. So here, mm -hmm. let's say you have ordered for hundred paracetamol. Okay, paracetamol you have had, uh, ordered. Now, this is the sales office. I mean, CPO. CPO means country pharma office. Okay, which is the sales office. Now here. They are not manufacturing. They are doing the sales part. Okay, so what they will do? This hand, uh, the customer every time they put, uh, they if they want something, they have to uh, put an order here at sales office. Okay, so they uh, you you want hundred paracetamol. So hundred paracetamols order you have given to the sales office to Pfizer sales office in Romania. Now what it will do? It is not the manufacturing plant. Where is manufacturing plant? Here in Belgium. Okay, in Belgium they have the manufacturing plant. So this paracetamol. And the sales, what sales is office in which location? Sales office in, in Romania. Belgium. Let me write it. Romania. Okay. Romania. So Romania, Belgium, Romania. Two different. No. Yeah, yeah. Two. Three different. Wait, wait. Three different. Three different countries. Switzerland. Yeah. Okay. This is distribution center. Is also in Switzerland only. Ph55. CPO. We have sales office in Romania. Okay, and customers we have. I am. I am. See, I am taking a very wide example. Okay, mm -hmm. to make I, it will help you in in I mean in every organization. This this okay. uh, this way only it works. Okay. Great, great. Don't I mean don't no need to put it in one country only. Most of the cases this this happen like this only. Okay, so. You are the customer. You are in Romania. <laughs> you are in Romania, okay? So, and uh, I mean, you you are a retailer, okay? Pharma retailer. So, how you will get your products? You have uh, you will purchase it from Pfizer, or you can say you are a retailer of Pfizer, okay? So, in you are uh, sorry, did not retail, customer of Pfizer. So, what you have to do? You have to give a order to them. That okay, uh, my paracetamol stock is about to over. I need hundred more paracetamol. So you will give this order to this country, say pharma office, to Romania sales office. Okay, for since you are customer of Romania, you have, you will give to Romania sales office. If you are customer of let's say uh, USA, okay, then you will give that order to uh, this USA sales office. Then what what they will do once you gave the order, then they will uh, propagate this order to this 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 locations. Okay, so it will go to hub. Hub it means all sales office are connected to hub. Okay, so let me put it like this: sales office. I will put another sales office. US 
zero one. Okay, UK zero one. So all these are our sales office. All these are our sales office. Now sales office, as I said, for each country there will be one sales office. Okay, so this is for US. This is for a uh, UK customer. So once they all get, uh, once they get orders, customer orders, where it will go? It will go to hub. This is the you can say uh, headquarters of that organization. Headquarters, okay. So this is the headquarters. So all orders, it will come here. Okay. Switzerland. Now all orders will come to Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. Even all for orders also, it will come to Switzerland. I am I am considering that option. Okay. Okay. So because headquarter of uh, I think Pfizer is in uh, where is the headquarter of Pfizer? Is in Switzerland. For Novartis, I know it's in Basel. Uh, for Pfizer, I think it's Switzerland. Okay. So here all your orders will come. Now they consolidate all orders. Okay. So let's say hundred orders come from this location, then from US 200 orders come here 300 orders come from here so what is the total order count 600 okay so 600 orders come, came here now what it will do it will uh oh, not distribution center it should be somewhere wait wait uh, i just made a mistake here let me check the flow And then distributor, then customer. This will act as your distributor. Then in that case, here it will be warehouse. Yeah, it's like this. Now see here, all your orders come. Oh, uh, they consolidated all your orders, six hundred. Now six hundred orders, they have to check in their warehouses if this is this quantity is available or not. Okay, so here let's say in warehouses we have only 300, 300 stock. So what it will do? Can you tell me how much quantity they can deliver and how much quantity they have to manufacture? 300 deliver, 300 manufacture. Yeah. So what? Uh, so right now the demand is for 600. Mm -hmm. It will check for it will check for the available stock. Okay, mm -hmm. which is 300. So 300 they can deliver, right? But mm -hmm. we are, I mean, um, there, there is a deficit of 300 quantities, correct? So that 300 quantities, they will ask the manufacturing plant to manufacture. Also considering if you if you have safety stock, that also you have to consider, which we discussed in our previ previous class. Right. Okay. So let's say <coughs> safety stock of this warehouse is 200. Safety stock is 200. So in that case, how many this manufacturing site has to manufacture? 500. Correct. Yes. <laughs> 500 they have to manufacture. Okay. Because 200 we cannot touch. We are left with 100 only. Okay. But our demand is 600. So 500 uh, we have uh, this plant have to manufacture. Once it is manufactured, it will again put this stock to the warehouse. From warehouse, it will go to this uh, this headquarter. You want you can include distributor here. Mm -hmm. OK, you if you want, you can include distributor. Otherwise, I'm considering this as as the country distributor sales office as country distributor. OK. Because see customer where they will put order to distributor only. To retailer and from retailer, it will go to distributor. Mm -hmm. This way only we put demand, correct? Mm. Yeah. You you are the customer. You will put order to retailer. Then uh -huh. retailer retailer will send the order to distributor. Because they will buy in bulk. Uh -huh. One distributor has multiple retailers, right? One retailer has multiple customer. Uh -huh. So here if you are customer, you will put one order. OK, to this retailer. There might be multiple retailer. So this retailer, it will uh, I mean you this retailer has multiple customer may have multiple customer customer two, customer three also. So this customer, let's say it, uh, they ordered for three quantities, so 
it will all consol consolidate right for this retailer we have four customer four orders correct now mm -hmm. this distributor has also multiple customer so here let's say it got 100 100 uh, 100 products demand mm -hmm. so this distributor then it will send demand to this plant correct so here the same thing we are doing in romania sales office i just mentioned one customer but we can have multiple customer also mm -hmm. you are just one customer but here we can have multiple customer and then they will consolidate all those again it is also you can say like a distribution center where it will from all countries all over the world it uh, consolidate all the uh, orders and then it will check for uh, in their warehouses and from uh, warehouses then if uh, if they are not able to they, if they are not capable to fulfill all this demand then it uh, then uh, they have to go to manufacturing plant to manufacture those products remaining products Okay. So the demand, the demand is uh, checked at the warehouse level here, correct? Ah, where we will check? At warehouse only we will check. We will check in stock if we have any, if we have that quantity or not. But we, if we, if we have distributor also, we are contacting initially retailer. Ah, you can contact. You can contact, but I'm, I'm taking example but like if, if the distributor the start. Yeah, if the distributor uh, distributor has a quantity, he will deliver to retailer, no? Yes, yes, yes. He can deliver, yes. So the he demand, uh, the demand we are talking, are we talking demand at distribution level centers or warehouse centers? Where I'm, what exactly? I'm, see, I'm con considering all these are new. Okay, all these are new. <coughs> this is a new plant. This is, I mean, this is the new sales office. This is new sales office. This is new sales office. Okay, we don't have anything here. Okay. Okay, but in case, let's say after two years, three years, see these, I mean, they are supplying products to this CPU location, right? Sales office. So in most of the cases, if demand is less, they might, <coughs> they might have a stock. <coughs> they might have some stock, but not in large quantity. In sales mm -hmm. office, this is not something warehouse. This is sales mm -hmm. office. Okay, so they cannot store, uh, I mean, stock in bulk. They can have uh, 10, 10, 15, 20 products. But let's say what if <coughs> uh, if you give an order of 1000 pieces. Mm -hmm. Then they have to check. They have to go to their uh, uh, other other uh, transportation. I mean, these uh, other locations. They have to check the whole supply chain. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming it is a new new site where we don't have any any stock at the sales office. And but, the sales goal, office but, but the goal of all supply mm -hmm. chain plan is to serve the customer as soon as possible, no? Yes. To yes. the nearest nearest yes. person. Yes. So for example, if I am very nearest to my distributor, I am ordering a product. I yes. expect the product to be whenever the moment I ordered, I have to get it, correct? Yes. And the distributor has to do demand planning from his side, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, that is one point. And if we, and uh, can can a customer can directly go to warehouse and buy? He can do no. He can do, but I I never seen this type in SAP. Okay. In SAP, I never seen this situation. So a customer can directly go and buy a, buy a, buy a product in plant. I think he can. I mean, in mid pharma sector, how we can directly go to warehouse and we yeah, not for, not pharma, but let's take an example of a business mm -hmm. where the customers can directly go to the plant distribution center and also we have Walmart but, stores. But they have, but they have. I think if you go to warehouse, they have certain condition like you have to buy in bulk. They will, we will not give you one piece or two. Correct, 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 correct. There is some, like, no, no, no no doubt there will be some kind of rules and plant or warehouse or. Even we have stores, no. Even if you really look at and the store, they have, no? they have certain restriction also that we cannot sell in retail and in warehouse that we cannot sell in retail. They, Correct. they put condition like this also. And and imagine um, I'm trying to be more full full mm -hmm. flexibility giving to the customer. Mm -hmm. He can go to the plant also. Imagine a business. He can directly go to the plant. He can directly go to the distribution center. And who are the customers? No, or a normal customer can also walk into Walmart store. No, so in that circumstances, every person has to do kind of demand planning. No, 
Plant has to do have... plant has to do demand planning. Warehouse has to do demand planning. Distribution center has to do demand planning to serve the customer. And the customer can vary, you no? Know, for for distribution center, customer can be retailer. No, you but can, for store, you can do. For, yes, yes, you can do. Sir? I mean, store, you have that flexibility. You can flexibility do anything. Flexibility and the SAP will allow to do it. Correct? Yes, yes, SAP will yeah. allow. Yeah. See, okay, I I gave you so example class, this one first. Correct. The classic example is a food uh, uh, retail retail or retail uh, stores. Mm -hmm. No, for example, Walmart. Mm -hmm. You really look at law, Walmart is a big giant fifty billion dollar company. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a small like like just like Pfizer. No, mm -hmm. and Walmart has got a lot of distribution centers, a lot yeah. of warehouses, mm -hmm. third party warehouses, humongous, and they have a lot of stores, distribution centers, warehouse. There are a lot of plants. And in that circumstances, how demand they have to do? No demand planning should be done at every every location, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am um, I right? That's the point I'm trying to ask. Mm -hmm. Means, means SAP has you are showing in the screen. Demand, no, no, no. In demand planning, I'm I didn't get why we are doing it at all. I mean, every level. Supply. Yeah, if you say supply chain, I'm supply I'm chain. Confusing. I I can see supply chain. I can <coughs> understand, but why we are doing it at at in demand planning? You, I think you are clubbing it these these concept the supply chain concept with demand planning. Demand correct, correct. planning. I'm confusing. I'm, I'm, that's a question I have. That's a confusion no, I have. You. That's why I said that you raise the supply chain question in demand planning. Demand planning. We are sure that okay. You if you are the customer. Let's say. So so for my question is forecasting. So do a warehouse. Do not do forecasting. Do a distribution no, center. No. Don't do forecasting. Do a no. plant. Don't do forecasting. Plant, plant can do. Got, Plant can do, sales office can do, warehouse cannot do forecasting. Okay. okay. Warehouse center? is not for forecasting. This is how uh, distribution center can do. Warehouse is not for forecasting. It is for yeah, only your stock uh, inventory uh, storage. Great point. So warehouse can only store finished goods or it can store some raw materials, correct? Yes, raw materials. If you, oh. if you are, I mean, warehouse can store, uh, I mean, uh, both your finished as well as raw materials. Okay, distribution. We can do demand at distribution level, center level, yes, at the retail, can, yeah, at the store do. level, at the store level also, no? At store level also, you can do. Okay, that's the point. But and we, we but level. we, but usually we don't do it at store level. That is very, very, I mean, the lowest level. Okay. So we cannot do it at uh, this level. If you want, I mean, uh, let's take example of this one. Okay, we are at plant. So this plant has multiple retailers, correct? May have mm. multiple retailers. Retailer one, retailer two, retailer three. So that is very basic level. If you want, you can do. It's not like then in that case, what you have to do, you have to create a retailer in SAP. That is another uh, uh, task. Okay. So you have to create each one one retailer, and then you have to do, and then you have to enter your. Then it will aggregate your data like this. See what I'm trying to say. We have our plant, okay. One. Uh -huh. Then, for this plant, we have one. Uh, we have multiple distributor. Distributor. One. Distributor. Two. Okay. For this distributor, we have. Taylor one. Retailer two. For this, we have retailer three and retailer four. Now, for this retailer, we have multiple customer. Customer one, customer two, customer three. This is correct. 
ट हैदराबाद Hyderabad, we have one plant, and the company code is Telangana. Okay, now the sales org here is it should be India. So what we are doing here, under this sales org, we have one company code. You can have multiple company code. Company code UP, company code Delhi, company code uh, Tamil Nadu. So. For this, uh, under this sales organization, which is India, we have one company code Telangana. Under this company code, we have we can have multiple plants. I have taken example of one plant, Hyderabad. Okay, under this plant, we have two distribution center. For this one, uh, for this first distribution center, we have two retailers, and for this retailer, we have this customer, this customer, this customer, and this customer. Okay, so what I did, I disaggregated at the lowest level mm -hmm. okay so what we are doing in demand planning i mean we are doing forecasting in my case in my i mean as per my experience in last 4 5 years we are doing planning at uh, this forecasting at this level okay mm -hmm. so it consolidates all your forecast data here okay it will check for the stocks if there is any available because for plant as i said for plant you will have the next as your warehouse okay so it will check if the quantity is available they will they will give it to the distributor if not it will send demand to the headquarters and then to the uh, to the sorry manufacturing site okay so here let's say one one quantity this customer need two quantity this needs three Again, two and one. <coughs> so uh, this retailer has three, six, nine. So there is a demand of nine products from this retailer. Mm -hmm. So they, I mean, retailer will also check it, its stock. Okay, in his shop, it they will also check if there is. uh if they, if nine quantities they have then they they will deliver it to to the customers okay so let's say they check their stock and they only have seven products so in that case what they will do this retailer out of nine <coughs> they they check their stock and they have seven seven products so two is still remaining mm -hmm. correct so two is still rem remaining so this two the this demand they will send to distributor okay similarly let's say they checked and this retailer to it send demands of three products this one it also send uh, demand of let's say four products retailer three also send demand of four products okay so they internally check their stocks retailers mm -hmm. and then based on the stock availability they delivered uh, the quantity which they have and rest they Uh, uh they send they send as a demand to distributor now distributor clubbed it and then this will go to your plant 
plant will also check and so before plant distributor will distributor will also check that if if are we able to meet this demand or not so distributor checked and they found that okay out of the six we have four quantities so two is still remaining so this two will go here okay so from this here they also checked and they said that okay we have five quantities available with us we can deliver five quantities out of seven so how <clears throat> how much is remaining two remaining okay so this two will go to your plant i am considering that they are not not taking safety stock in consideration mm -hmm. okay so if if they have safety stock consideration then it the demand will increase more okay mm -hmm. so i uh, okay so based on this this will check okay so four quantities correct so it will also check plant will also check that if there is uh, uh, i mean stock available or not so this stock check is happen it will happen everywhere but if if i say the warehouse term that is a big term right warehouse is used for your stock uh, for your stock storage only for your product storage for mm -hmm. your inventory it's not like in, the, in warehouse we will store two products or four products mm -hmm. Okay, this is our main storage location. So there we will store all our inventory. Whatever we manufacture, we store it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this level, they check. They said that okay, we have one one uh, one product available. Rest three, it will go to manufacturing side for production. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before going there, what is here? Our warehouse. It will check in warehouse. Okay, so if there is quantity available, then they will uh, deliver it to plant. Otherwise, it will go to manufacturing site. And in warehouse, it's not like they will manufacture one piece or two piece. Okay, it should be in a lot because they have to run their machine. They cannot start their machine for one piece or one product. Okay, so this also we consider. Where we consider? In our supply chain as well as in PPDS. Okay, there is a lot which we call uh, this uh, lot sizes. Okay, we have multiple type of lot sizes based on that we I mean based on the machine efficiency cost effectiveness. We we, we predict that lot size. No, sorry. Could you repeat that? Uh, I didn't understand which, lot, which, which the lot, the lot, the lot, 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 lot. Okay, if you don't understand it's okay. That is part of PPDS. Okay, I'm just taking consideration. See, we cannot run machine for one uh, to manufacture one piece, right? Mm -hmm. Correct, okay, correct. I'm so that consideration also i mean we have to consider that aspect also so it should be in a quantity like from we have to think from if, if you are working in supply chain we have to think from all perspective it should be cost effective it should be i mean uh, uh, cost effective as well as it should consume uh, it it will it should take less time okay our machine i mean uh, if let's say if you have one piece but if your machine is capable enough to manufacture 100 pieces in same time, then what you will do? Will you manufacture one piece or 100 pieces? Could you repeat, sir? I am saying that. I am saying that. See, from plant, plant check its stock. It has one, one. I mean, one quantity available. So they they said that okay, out of four, we can deliver one quantity. Three are still remaining. So three, mm -hmm. what they will do? This plant will send demand to warehouse that we need three quantity. Right, right. Okay. So this this part is completed. OK, so they now we are in warehouse. So warehouse will check if we have three quantities, then we will supply it to plant. Otherwise, if we don't have, then it will go to manufacturing site. Right, right. So I am saying that here in warehouse we check. Right. Warehouse, we checked. We have two quantities. One quantity is still. I mean, we delivered two quantities to plant. So one uh, one quantity is still remaining. Right. Out of three, one quantity is still. Now what warehouse will do? Warehouse will send this one quantity demand to manufacturing side. Correct. Mm -hmm. To manufacture. Now we have to check in manufacturing site also. Are we in capable enough to produce this one quantity only okay so here in manufacturing side it is not like we will manufacture only one quantity okay 
so there is they maintain uh, uh, you can say we i i used, uh, i mean in sap term I, we used to call lot okay mm -hmm. so lot paracetamol i am taking paracetamol so they already defined that okay if paracetamol come we will manufacture 500 pieces in one go mm -hmm. okay how how they how they define this quantity based on uh, based on machine capabilities based on cost effectiveness all those th they they have considered okay and based on that consideration they define that okay if paracetamol order come we will manufacture minimum this is the minimum quantity we can manufacture okay we cannot manufacture one piece this is the minimum quantity which we can manufacture okay so 500 pieces they will manufacture let's say here if any let's say cup syrup cup syrup comes then uh, this is the minimum quantity minimum uh, liters you can say minimum liters this much we we uh, we can produce okay so that is not right now this is not needed i just explain you for for your understanding so the, lot, the lot lot size is uh, uh, the mm -hmm. size defined at the manufacturing you know i mean so manufacturing, how many yeah. Yes, yes, manufacturing. How many lot? Uh, one lot can be 100, 500, 500 yes, products yes, like that. Yes, 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 yes. Based on the lot size, it could be 100. Yeah. It can be they will they only. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Two. It depends on the product. They, yes, they will only manufacture based on the lot size, not one yes. or two. No? no, 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 never. No, no, no. That option we have. I mean, fix. I mean, uh, wait. Let me see. That also option we have. What option? Uh -huh. Wait, wait, let me show you. Lot size. Lot for lot, fixed lot. If you mention fixed lot, you can enter your quantity, whichever quantity you want to manufacture. Okay. okay. Yeah. But as I said, you cannot enter one quantity, right? It depends. Uh -huh. I mean, let's say, just I am assuming in lot size you already maintain let's say minimum as 500 mm -hmm. okay maximum as 1000 mm -hmm. then is mm -hmm. it feasible for you to mean i mean you already know that this is the this is the capability of this product i mean mm -hmm. we can manufacture this product in this this lot sizes then is mm -hmm. it feasible for you to to run your machine to manufacture only one product no i mean it in, I mean, just don't think from machine perspectives. Think from cost effectiveness. Right, uh, right. You will you will engage your machine. You will engage your labor, electricity cost, everything, raw materials also. Okay, so uh, based on that, so this is uh, you can say this is so machine. Machine plan. has a capability to do more than one product at one shot. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Based on feasibility, I mean, if it is feasible, if it is cost effective, if you are getting profit by manufacturing just one piece, then you can manufacture. But if if there if if you have capacity of hundred, if you have capacity to manufacture five hundred pieces, then why will manufacture one piece? Correct. It will. It will. I mean, we will be in loss then. Okay. So that also you have to consider. So this is part of our production planner in PPDS. Uh, I mean, this is part of PPDS. Okay, so if you are demand planner, see we have one demand tab. This is this tab is related to us. In this tab, making uh, wait. This tab, this tab is the important one. Supply chain demand profile. Yeah, yeah. Along so can we go to the Excel sheet? No, one this is the final doubt I have. Mm -hmm. And the forecasting, you no. Know, see so the retailer uh, based on the demand they are getting from the customers, mm -hmm. uh, and I can consider as the sales orders from customer to retailers, you no, know, in a simple oh, terms. Wait. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. In okay. simple, okay. simple terms. Yeah, yeah. Sales order and uh, if retailers have the data with them, you no, know, for see, for their products. See, see, uh, Pravin, what you are doing. Uh, uh, in demand planning, what what we used to do? Forecast. forecast. Uh, invoiced invoiced forecast, quantity. Invoiced for, quantity. Forecast is not related to sales order. Sales order is different thing. Forecast is your prediction. Correct. For this sorry, much sorry. of 
so, forecast correct. we are doing for next you are just thinking from for this month okay that is not part of forecasting that is part of your supply chain smp mm -hmm. in 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 demand planning you will not get any any sales order you no, will get uh, those sales order in supply sales supply is, sales, sorry, sales, sales, history, history. sales history is different thing that is your previous sales invoices billings yeah based on that uh, invoice quantity based on the invoice uh -huh. quantity uh, we are able to do uh, predict the forecast for the upcoming uh -huh. seven or eight weeks correct so 36 now, months yeah yeah so now the all these retailers and distribution centers they uh -huh. still have that invoicing historical invoicing quantity uh -huh. which uh -huh. they served to retailers correct and based on the invoice quantity, mm -hmm. historical invoice quantity, distribution centers can still do forecasting for each for the products they sell to the retailers. To serve to I... serve the retailers, to serve the retailers in a most efficient way. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to keep they don't want to keep products. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to keep products like that. No, they need to do forecast planning. Yes, that's why. Yes, yes, that's why mm -hmm. we are doing forecasting. To mitigate out these type of situation, correct, one correct. is one is remaining here. I mean, we are not able to deliver this quantity. So the yeah, the question I have here is yes, forecasting can be done at distribution center levels, correct? And we can do, but usually we don't do. Usually yeah, we don't do. I mean, this usually, is but, detail but we level. Can, we, we can do. The we can, can. Yeah, ask. you can do. You can if do. The customer can ask, uh, "Hey, I want to do forecasting at distribution center. I can do it." And also, the customer, I can do forecasting at uh, n number of distribution centers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And also, if I have stores, you know, with me uh, in X Y Z location, I know how many orders I'm getting for the customers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have the historical invoice uh, invoice quantity building. Mm -hmm. I can still if 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 my business says I can do go and have, go and do forecasting at a store level as well, correct? Yeah, correct. Because, yes, yes, correct. So if if that is the case, if SAP is deployed in production, mm -hmm. so imagine that's a business model we have. No, hey, I want to do it's a big bank business model. I want to do forecasting at the store level. I want to do forecasting at a distribution center level and also I want to do forecasting at a plant. Imagine that I'm just putting mm -hmm. a hypothetical mm -hmm. business model mm -hmm. and I need to, if SAP is deployed in such an instance, how users, so there will be users at DC level, there will be users at store level, no? SAP, yeah. uh, uh, how they have to select the products, what you're selling, no? what you're showing me. Mm -hmm. They have to select the location, they have to select the yeah. product and they have to do the forecasting. Is that the way? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So yeah. instead, see, let's say if you want to do at retail level. So you have to, instead of location, you have to give like, let's say, uh, APO retailer. Okay? okay, at APO retailer level. So this quantity, which I mentioned as 6,000. So if you are retailer, then quantity will be less, right? Let it be six. Okay. Yeah, the, so moment I do, select, yeah. Uh, the moment I select the retailer, all the products yeah. of that retailer will be displayed to the left left side, like 110120. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 correct. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this way, you will get option of retailer. See, see here, we are getting option at sales org level. Okay? okay, location level. So similarly, in that case, you will get option of retailer level. Good, good. So that's the point yeah, I'm trying. Imagine that. Okay, still that flexible, uh, flexibility. Yeah, there. it's. Uh, uh, I I I understand, but you will not get this this type of situation. Okay, because this is very detailed. Will you? I mean, what you are saying that you will. Uh, uh, like you are going to. Uh, what you are going to. Uh, add one one SAP users. You will ask. SAP users to sit for one retailer and do this forecasting for me. No, this not is, retailer, store, store. Like you can put store instead of retailer. Uh, if you want, uh, it's, it's, but I didn't, uh, I never encountered this type of that much of detailed forecasting if anyone is doing. Okay. okay? okay. Because okay. company is thinking from this cost per perspective also, they are, they, are, they think. Okay. Right, 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 right. You do it at detail level. Uh, I mean, there will be more, more. I mean, you have to involve more cost. Okay, it, it involve more cost. Right, right. So but you, but still, the SAP do, has a flexibility. Ah, you can do. Yeah, yeah. You can do. You can do at any level. Okay. Here, 
in my cases i i see they are doing it uh, location level they have option of country level also okay sales org level then but okay. you are going to uh, i mean one more level uh, below okay so that is retailer or distributor level so you can do you can do that's not a big deal okay so So we are in SAP system right now. Okay, so these are the T codes which we have to enter here, and then if you click enter, it will take you to 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 that T code transaction. Okay. So now this button here we use for favorite. Okay, if you if let's say uh, you are a demand planner, then you will two three T codes only of demand plan. But if you are a consultant, SAP consultant, then uh, it involves. Or uh, twenty, thirty T codes of demand planning. So how to add it here? Right click on this one, insert transaction, add it in favorite. Okay, you can add it in favorite. Yes, I will show you one more to add the transaction. Hello C three. This is to check our location details. Okay, so this way we can add. Now, mm, what else I have to tell? Ah, uh, here this is an option. No, not needed. It's also not needed. These are not needed. Whatever is relevant, I will tell you. Status. Okay. So here you can see your time zone. This system is in CET time zone. Okay. So if you want to be to use in US, you have to give your uh, while configuring this SAP. You have to tell that time zone should be US. Then basis team they will configure as per your time zone. Okay, so there here you can see the time zone of your of your SAP system, language, user. These these details you can see here. Now. T code I told you. Now there is one which we call table. The table. So in T code, if I open this T code mat one, so why we use mat one? Can you tell me? We opened so many times. Why why we use this one? This T code. For products, for products to check the products. Okay. okay, so what we entered here, one product, one location, right? I mean, we we cannot check in mass. Mm -hmm. We have to enter uh, one product and then location. Then we can see the details. What if what if I want to check all the products on this location? You you also want? I mean, that question should arise that. How I can check all the products of this location? Mm -hmm. So we have we use these tables. Okay, in AC sixteen is the T code for table. In table, we can see all our uh, details, all our product details in in mass. Okay, in under one screen we we can see all our de our product details. So this is one table which is used for to check materials. Okay, let me put location as 1000. This is that Hamburg only. So I just gave location. When I click enter, it will show me all the products on this location. So see, on this location we have these many 6000 products. Okay, so if you want to check the products, the number of products, okay, you can uh, use this T code matlock. Sorry, not T code table. Similarly, in ECC, <coughs> in ECC we have one T uh, one table. In SAP also, in SAP uh, ECC, if I'm in ECC, you have table name is MARC. Here I will enter location as one thousand. 
let's see how many let me remove this number of in ECC, we can see we have 6100 product. Now, did you see any difference in APO and ECC? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Did you see any difference in ECC and APO? Let me open it again. You have a lot of attributes no here no attributes that also you can see here i mean we have option you can change okay okay, okay. Uh, yeah attribute i'm not going uh, yeah more products 16 on, uh, 16. yes correct 16. yes yes correct so in ecc we have more products in ecc we have more products in apo we have around let's say 200 or 300 less it means you are getting something. We are doing planning. <coughs> we are doing planning in APO for less materials compared to ECC. Mm -hmm. And for which material we do planning in, EC, in in APO? I told you last time X0. OK, if material is X0, then we only do planning in APO. Mm -hmm. OK, so we I mean there is filter criteria. Uh, this X0 means MR, this is MRP type. X0 means this product should not be planned in ECC. OK, it should be planned in any external system. External system can anyone, your APO SCM system, your other, if you are using other tool like Kinexis, if you are using uh, OMP, JD AdWords, any, any other system, OK, external system. X0 means external planning. OK, so material with x0 that we only transfer to to this apo okay and we do planning pd means pd uh, pd means this they do planning in ecc only let me check what is this pd and this is the t code to check your materials mm03 mm03 in ecc in APO, it's SAP APO MAT1. Okay. Plant is, I think, 1000. Here they didn't maintain MRP screens. Okay. This is a bad example. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good example. You can see all tabs here. So MRP type we defined here. PD. PD means MRP. PD, it means they will do planning in ECC system. If they have maintained here X0, which is this one, external planning, then it will do, uh, I mean, for this product, planning will happen in APO system. Okay. So this way you can you can identify because see many times what happened, users, there is, there is uh, issues, there is incidents. That's why we are not able to do planning in APO. So basic thing, first thing, what you will check? First, you will check the MRP type. First, you have to check this one. If it is if it is relevant for APO planning or not. OK, so if the user said that we are not able to do planning in APO, then you have to check this one and you will find PD. Then this is the root cause, right? If they maintain PD, how they will do planning in APO? Mm -hmm. OK. Because see, business and, they uh, don't check these things. Correct. And the planning in uh, MM is all manual, no? You said uh, there's no algorithms and all that. We don't do planning in MM. We do planning in production planning. MM is not for planning. MM is for material creation, plant creation, these things. Correct. Correct. Forecasting, no? For uh, non, for for ex, not for internal items, no? Uh, for yeah, not for, for ex, forecasting yeah. also. Uh, no, no, not only MM team. Both SD and MM team are. Uh, I mean, are 
are responsible for this forecasting in ECC. Yeah, in ECC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. ECC not only MM team. I mean, not only MM team. I don't think MM team. So MM team. MM team. Most. I mean, most of their work is related to this material master only. They maintain these things. Okay. So they, they, they maintain, maintain all the all yeah. the master master data master, and uh, master data yeah. and plant and plant master data. Yeah. Yes. So let's say uh, for this issue, I said that a user raised raised uh, uh, a incident that they are not able to do planning in APO system. So it is your task. You are the functional consultant. You have you, I mean business will connect to you. OK, business will connect to you and then uh, you have to do a, your analysis. Then after analysis, you found out that this is the reason. Then you are not the responsible person to to update these settings. Who will update these settings? MM team, they will update. Okay. Because this doesn't fall under your uh, your uh, area. You are demand planner, right? Mm -hmm. But it is your responsibility to check because why they raised the incident? They are not able to do planning in APO. Okay, so I mean the impacted system is APO, right? Mm -hmm. They uh, the planner think that it impacts in APO. That's why you are the responsible one to do analysis on this this issue. Now after analysis, you found out that this is the reason. So what you will do? You will highlight it to MM team. Let's see business wants to do this. Uh, planning in APO, but here and you have maintained MRP type PD. OK, so they will change it. And after that uh, business, uh, I will it will allow you to do planning in APO for this product. OK, so every uh, module of uh, so there is certain task of every module. OK, you cannot interfere in other uh, like task uh, in MM area ST area. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you want to interfere, what they do, they don't give you change access of these things. OK, you will not able to change anything. Similarly, MM team cannot do any changes in your planning book in your uh, in your APO system. They have and who who made this who who authorize the the access of these T codes your security team. OK, right. they are they are responsible for authorization, so every team. Now you're getting how how this all all teams are linked. OK, right, so right. so this way. Uh, I mean, they will restrict you from accessing other team related P codes. Yeah. OK, so these are the I mean. What I button T code favorite I told you time zone this okay, SPRO now see. So can we correct yeah. it tomorrow? Just, just I mean, you know, just uh, this last topic, SPRO. Okay. And after that, our SAP uh, the screen part complete. Now we will then pro pro uh, proceed with demand plan. So see, what if you don't know any T codes? What if you forget any T code? Okay. So there is this screen, SPRO. Okay, where we do all type of customizing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here you will see all your uh, master data related settings, LOC three materials, everything you will find here. It is like a folder where you will find all those details. OK, mm -hmm. see in supply chain planning. Your demand planning and supply network planning comes. OK, these two comes. So. Here if you, I go to supply chain demand planning here, you will see all your C. You can see planning book. OK, so. Whatever settings you have to maintain related to your your system. If you forget that T code, then you can access from here. Otherwise, where, I already where know. is the T code? Where is the T code here? Can you drill down? Okay, so oh, this oh, is the oh, you it will take you to the T code. Yeah. Okay, so it will take you to the T code. Now, I already know the T code. Uh, I mean, uh, what is the T code of this one? So let me open it here. Dash SAP APO SDP 8B. Okay. This is the screen. Okay, interactive planning. Now, oh, let's say you forget that T code. Okay. And after checking it here, see, it will take you to, to the same screen. Okay. 